Um, uh, I would say a Paris for sure. Spotify for sure. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm on Spotify every day, so. <laughs> uh, Ellis, Prince Michael Jackson is my god. I mean. <laughs> Take risks. Because uh, with every risk that you take, there is fun and there is always pressure and it can go both ways. It can go the other way or it can go the, the right way. At the end of the day, you would know that you've taken a risk and it worked. Or you've taken a risk and it didn't work. And yeah, for me, that's more fun, you know, to like tonight, I took lots of risks. <laughs> Puccino or Verdi? Hmm, that's a really tough one. Ah, uh, whoa. Mm. I would say, I would say Puccini actually. I, I have my reasons why. I love Verdi, but I would say Puccini. Verdi is a very great student of the bel canto um, composers like Rossini, Bellino, Donizetti. Puccini, Puccini would say yes or no, but you see, he created another world. He was known by all the Hollywood movies, movie stars. Verdi is great. I have many things to say about him. That the only thing I can say is that he wrote great operas with a lot of drama that got more intense. But I, I like Puccini more because his film music is so. His music is like a film. Like if you listen to Bohem, it's it's incredible. You know, it's 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 it basically it's a movie. You you could film. You could you could play Bohem and play a film on literally on TV, and it would it would just work because every single bit of the music it worked. It's so it's so easy to make it. <laughs> um, definitely Italian and Algerian. Uh, my Viva is my best role, so I sing Ernesto very well, but I'm not Ernesto, you know. I'm Alma Viva, but I'm not. Ernesto is a bit dramatic and orchestration is quite big. It was actually meant for a tenor that's a little bit more lyric than me, but Alma Viva, I definitely am. Okay. Caruso, Mario Lanza, Caruso for sure. Arena di Verona, South. <laughs> uh, South with Fresh Bean. Modern production or vintage? Definitely vintage production. Like this one we did tonight. It's so perfect. It's like a Netflix uh, film, you know? I am trying to find someone that can, that can put Cenerentola on Netflix. This last show of Cenerentola you saw was all these costumes are so beautiful. The sisters with the hats and Cenerentola with a big dress mm -hmm. and the chorus in black suits yeah. and the, the whole scenography. It's so incredible. Like it could be on Netflix, you know, we could play it on Netflix. Mm, Pobre Ernesto. One theater, a perfect theater for me. I would say, I'd say it's really. For sure, it's, it's a perfect theater. I mean, look at it. The opera. Yes. La Forza del Destino. Montserrat Caballé. Pierre Capuccini. Oh, Ballerin Mascara. Actually, Ballerin Mascara. With the same cast, because Capuccini was a god in this, you know? Tena Pavarotti. <laughs> I'm creating my cast, you know? <laughs> Thank you.